The clock is ticking, as they say, and soon voters will need to decide how to vote in several key races throughout the tri-state area. Let's start with on Long Island. The newest Siena poll has Republican Anthony Esposito trailing big in his race. That is something new. His trailing Democrat, he's trailing Democrat Laura Gillen up by 12 percentage points. This is for the congressional district seat in Nassau County. Meanwhile, in Suffolk County, it's a tighter race there. Incumbent Nick LaLota is leading his Democratic challenger, but only by three percentage points in that race, within the margin of error of 4.5 percent. And with those 13 days to go until Election Day, all eyes are on the race for the White House. That same Siena poll has Vice President Harris showing her biggest lead among likely New York voters. That lead at 19 points, Kamala Harris at 58 percent, Donald Trump at 30 Eight percent, 39 percent, excuse me. And meanwhile, former President Trump spoke at a round table with Latino voters in Miami this afternoon. VP Harris is out of the mix. She's sitting down for one on one interviews while her campaign partner gets ready for an event in Wisconsin. Eyewitness News anchor Tanya Rivero here now with the latest on the race. That's right, Sandra. After 11 straight days on the campaign trail today, Vice President Kamala Harris is instead sitting down for TV interviews in Washington, D.C., while former President Donald Trump has a rally tonight back in North Carolina after that round table in Florida where he tries to court Latino voters. Next to you. With exactly two weeks to go in the race for the White House, today former President Donald Trump is at his hotel in Miami, again trying to get the edge with Latino voters. We're actually leading with Hispanics. That's never happened before. At campaign rallies, Trump's rhetoric is getting more heated. These people are very sick people. Christians will not be safe with Kamala Harris as president of the United States. It's not even thinkable. The former president returns to North Carolina tonight for a rally in Greensboro, while his running mate, J.D. Vance, campaigns outside of Phoenix. In battleground Wisconsin, former President Barack Obama joins Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Walls to kick off the first day of early voting in that crucial state. That campaign stop one day after Harris's visit to Wisconsin, alongside former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney. Think about what is at stake in terms of our democracy, rule of law, the Constitution of the United States, national security, the standing of our country in the context of the world. All of that is at stake. Cheney has repeatedly called Trump a threat to democracy for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. She's now adding another line of attack, a staunch opponent of abortion rights while in Congress. Cheney argues some states have gone too far in abortion restrictions and Trump is at fault. The bottom line on this, as on so many other issues, is, you know, you just can't count on him. You cannot trust him. And we've just learned Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin is expected to join Tim Walls and Barack Obama as they campaign in the swing state to kick off Wisconsin's early voting. Tanya Rivero, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Sandra.